Welcome again to Shaboy and Ross TV. You know, you're on a beautiful sunny day. I'm um, giving you some more updates on Nipsey also the tragedy that happened to him and you know we still you know mourning um for for the loss of Nipsey also and also the family member you know we already send out condolences to them you know and well wishes to our friends and you know neighbor of um LA you know so as you could see we have a a little bit of different setting up today in the background we um we're actually doing this video live and direct at the park. So, you know, we just have to bring you guys the exclusive, you know what I'm saying? We always gotta switch up the scene every now and then. We just gotta um, make everything right so you guys be satisfied. Exactly. And just wanna say, don't forget to like, share, comment, press that bell so that every time that we make a video, you guys could be notified. And always remember to like or dislike. So, what what your thoughts and everything so far, and uh, and the Nipsey Hustle thing? Well, there's too many conspiracy theory going around, man. Some of them that doesn't even make any sense. Like, there's this one guy that I saw making a conspiracy theory, like, oh, there is um, Nipsey Hustle is not dead, just the same way um, Trevor. Tre Trevon Martin is not dead, it's a lie. I'm like, what? Yeah. Dude, are you on drugs? See, are you just getting, are you just doing it to get some views? What are you really doing insane? Like, everybody sees on the camera. You can be beat if you want to be beat. Is Eric older, the shooter or not? That's what you could de beat. But you can't de beat that the guy is dead or alive. That's one thing you can't de beat, you know? So, Nobody gonna put themselves through all of that. So these people, they, you could tell like most people that go on uh, on YouTube trying to get views. So these are these are the stuff that they say you can't you can't um, believe everything you see on the internet because it's actually a net. So we're not gonna pay attention to the negative things that people be saying or the the stupidness that people be saying in general. We just gotta um, make sure that. Um, we put the facts out there like we always do, you know what I'm saying? But a quick update on the, um, on the funeral also, like, it was a big, big funeral. Like, yeah. I wish, I wish us as black people could come together, like, yeah, that community like, did. Yeah, like how they did in LA, other than, other than just a funeral. These are, this, this is the only time we could come together. We, exactly. we should be able to do this on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to get things done. But look at the funeral, it's, it's so big. At one point, we, we see a lot of police there because they're thinking like, we're gonna start a fight, you know what I'm saying? You know, when, when we together, they're always trying to destroy us. They're always trying to make it seem like, okay, it's gonna be a fight, it's gonna be this, so police gotta be there. And it was happening. And at one point, when I was watching the video, you don't see no police at all. So they, they, they actually leave hoping we could start a fight so they could come and intervene and it still didn't happen so that's that's one thing i realized about the funeral so far um what i want to say next thing is that um not all conspiracy theory is not factual you know but when you're gonna say that the person is not dead i think you're on something else you know that that's what i'm saying and um and the next thing, um, conspiracy theory like saying that the police involved, I could believe that because this guy was gonna unite the entire gang in LA. If he um, got that done, forget it, forget it. So they do anything for black to not unite. So I would believe in that, but when you're saying like the guys. It isn't dead and he's hiding somewhere like how they usually said um bin laden is not dead and tupac is not dead i'm not gonna believe that like i won't even look at what you're saying i just think like you're on drugs or something so yeah, I, I would have pay attention to that part because that's that's uh we already we already clarified that part like people trying to get views exactly people trying to 
you know, you come up with some controversial garbage. Those are the stuff that people like to see on the internet most likely. So they, that's one of those stuff they they um, they doing right there. My thing is, the guy, he do he do he do so much. If we could take um, at least a page out of his book, exactly. he used to he used to actually hustle. You know, um, CDs. He used to sell his CDs. He used to sell his little his, his little hustling right in that same plaza. Then he go ahead and he own. I uh, I think he owned like one of those stores they in the plaza. Three. They yeah, three. and then yeah. he move up to three. And I think they had a conversation for him to own the whole plaza. Yeah, he was and, gonna own the whole plaza at the end of and it. And that's what they didn't like. Because they were trying to uh, make it very hard for him and his brother after they decided that, yo, let's just take over the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to, you know what I'm saying? I tolerate with these people stuff. We could just go ahead and own it and it would be way better for us. So um, the feds, the police, they started to, um, trying to, to, they're trying to cook up something to, to make it like, difficult for them trying to say that they, they, they you know what I'm saying they're hustling weed they're hustling drugs yeah. they're doing a lot of stuff just just to stop what they were yeah. trying to do one at a time and they even um read his, his shop this guy is, is selling legal stuff and they read his shop like only a drugs dealer you read their house why would you read a business please like what you know so they've been like trying to, and, and even though they do all of that he still doesn't have anything against him against them you know what I mean so that's just to tell you man these cops are like they're they're not they're not um here to protect us they're more here to like kill us the next thing too the um if you see that if you look if you look at that tape real good the the police they should be there directing traffic right at one point you don't you didn't see them they they try their best for something to happen so they could intervene we, if you if you look at the crowd, they the one who come together. The brothers come together already and start directing the traffic, starting to send vehicle that way. You know what I'm saying? People this way, all that. So yeah. it's it didn't work. What they were trying to do, it didn't work. They was trying to um, have some bad to say about the whole lineup, the whole landing. Yeah, and it just didn't work. Yeah. So. Like I say, you could you could see from that like it's a long time, it's a lot of time they trying to set this guy up and it didn't work till they finally have to just kill him. Like that's the only way they could like stop it. Yeah, exactly. that's the only way because him and his, and his brother they were doing good and perfect example for for kids growing up to, to follow. Isn't and it? Yeah. They they don't want that those kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's what I get from everything what I see and. His mom speak, you know what I'm saying, perfect about him. Um, Lauren, she um, she was speaking, but I didn't see a lot of emotion from her, but I don't know, like, some people like that though. You can see emotion from some people they're when doing, it comes to those oh. stuff, and then, but for some people who are looking in from outside, they're gonna be like, man, she don't even feel nothing, like something must be wrong. Uh, what's going on with her? Why is she not even crying? Like, no yeah. emotion whatsoever. Yeah, um, a lot of people deal with their grief different. Some people will deal, deal with it public no matter where, they'll deal with it right there. And some like, oh, I'll hold it in and when they reach home, you know, they start dealing with their own grief. Yeah. So, you, you know, you have to just take in consideration um, people's feelings and how they deal with, it, deal with certain situations and just acknowledge that, you know, that's how they are. But without further ado, you know, it's Shaboy and Ross TV. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And we're out.